You're welcome to my channel. Uh, we are still handling topic for business research skills, which is research designs. And we are going to look at the types of research designs, the different types of research designs. Yeah, and first we shall look at these two, which is qualitative research design and then quantitative research design. Yeah, we shall start with quantitative research design. This is mainly positivistic. Positivistic, we say they aim at proving the existing theories and it's a numerical method. It includes figures which uses numbers, frequencies, tables, means and other numerical computa computations to analyze and present data. That's what we call quantitative. It's positivistic and uh, it's numerical. It deals with figures. Yeah. Then qualitative research design, this is phenomenalistic. Phenomenalistic, we, we said it aims at describing the relationship between the variables. Yeah, so qualitative research is phenomenalistic and applies non-quantitative techniques in data collection, things that do not involve figures. Yeah, and it applies non-quantitative techniques in data collection, analysis and presentation. This is descriptive with explanations and expressions that are intended to show meaning and feeling. Yeah, so qualitative research, it's about showing meaning and feeling. And then quantitative, it's numerical. It uses numbers, frequencies, tables, means. Yeah, so those are the first two types of design, of research design. Let's look at more designs. More designs we have survey. Survey here studies done on a number of things, items, in videos or institutions. Survey is mainly done on samples. Yeah, then case study. Case study consideration is put on one institution to represent others. Yeah, there are very many universities in Uganda, but you can choose Makerele University to represent other universities. Then field study. Field study, you choose a few items among the many and study them well. A few items among the many and study them well. Like there are very many universities in Uganda, but you can decide to choose Makwele University, Chambogo University, Victoria University, and Nkumba University and study them well. That's what we call field study. Yeah. Case study, you choose one institution. Or one item, then field study, you choose a few items among them. Then experimental, this involves testing and controlling some factors in order to influence the outcome. Experimental, it's about experiencing, like trying out something to see whether it works, something like that. And ex experiments are mainly done by doctors. Yeah, experiment. It involves testing and controlling some factors in order to influence the outcome. Then correlation. Correlation with this, the main purpose is to establish a relationship between variables, between the dependent and then the independent variable. Is it a strong relationship, strong positive relationship, strong weak positive, or it's a negative relationship? Yeah, so the main purpose for correlation is to establish relationships between variables. Casual design, casual, it's something like normal. Yeah, casual design, this is a design that is targeted towards determining the cause and effect relationship. Yeah, what caused the thing and what was the effect of it. Yeah, that is the casual design, determining the cause and effect relationship. Then let's look at cross-sectional design. This is a snapshot design in that it focuses on one point in time. For example, studying events that happened in a certain year in the past, studying events that happened in 2020. Yeah, so that's what we call cross-sectional design. It focuses on one point in time, something that once happened, maybe the corona thing. Yeah, the lockdown that happened in 2020. That was we call cross-sectional design. Then longitudinal design. Longitudinal design, this is 
a study that is carried out taking into account all the years or events or items one after another longitudinal is for all the years cross sectional it's it's for a certain year yeah and note that the designs that we've seen are not mutually exclusive they can be combined to or more mutually exclusive things are things that can't work together you have to choose one it's either this or that yeah but these designs are not mutually exclusive it means that you can combine two or more they can work together yeah thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment share with your friends and watch my next video we shall be concluding this topic